and uh, hello, this is Captain Jack. Uh, today we are going to talk about the you know, Korean Republic. Okay, it's simple. And <clears throat> okay, yeah. Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine. Yeah, it's so called, you know, uh, Ukraine in in Korea. Ukraine has their own language. Language. Ukraine has Ukrainian, I guess. Ukrainian, yeah. Yeah. Their own language. Yeah. Their own language. Yeah. But some people. Um, there is no name about the, the people, Russian people, no, actually Slav, the yeah, Russian people. I don't have, uh, I haven't heard about uh, the people's name, Russian, uh, it's Russian, is uh, national, it's not people. Yeah. The Russian people, uh, and that consists of the uh, Slav. Slav. Yeah. yeah Slav. But all the time, the problem is came from language. These days, the you know, people mean the word. The word "people" means language. I language mostly. Yeah, not, it's not correct. The Korean people, Japanese people, Chinese, yeah. Yeah. they are separated by yeah. languages. Language determined yeah. and defined. Not genetics. Yeah. Not yeah. genetics. They are, they are nationalities. Yeah. National, nationality usually decided by the language. Ah, not, not always. Yeah. Because now we know some Hagyo and Chinese Korean people, but they are still Chinese. Why? They speak Chinese. I think it's because they still speak Chinese mainly. Yeah. And uh, their living style, lifestyle, still happening, still carry out lots of Chinese customs. Right. Uh, we can we can define we can see them as <coughs> Chinese, but if they root every kind of custom uh, they perform, they like uh, Chinese character. I think uh, the element of uh, Chinese element of uh, the big side. I think uh, we can see them. Uh, we can see they, they are normal. Right. So, okay, the Ukraine and Korean. So, they mark, they have own language, Ukra Ukrainian, um, but some people, uh, their ancestors were from Russia, and they still use Russian. Russian, Russian. They still speak Russian language. Yeah. And once Ukraine was a uh, part of the uh, Soviet Union, yeah. might be after the independence of Ukraine from Russia, the Soviet Union, and those Russian people wasn't happy at the time. Yeah. But my question, how they came to leave that, that territory, that region? Yeah, I don't know though when when it started clearly, but and while yeah, Soviet Union existed, and a lot of people yeah, moved around and, yeah from country to country. Yeah, I think in you know, this case is one of them. Or I think uh, they are the <coughs> descendants of the Russian military. Yeah, the might Russian be. military just had the, the battle against the United Kingdom in France. I think near that area. 
No, I'm not sure. Yeah. Cream work. Yeah. Anyway, the Russian people are there in Ukraine, but their nationalities are Ukraine. Yeah. If, if they really hated to live in Ukraine, they could, they could live from Ukraine yeah, when, they, when, when it's the first beginning. Yeah, I mean, independence of Ukraine from Soviet Union at the time. Oh. Yeah, but they didn't. They remained. And then, the recently, Ru Russia um, tricked and forced Ukraine. I think Russia wanted to get some parts of the territory of Ukraine. And then what happened? Those Russians, uh, Russian, not Russians, yeah, Ukra Ukraine, Ukrainian, yeah, who speaks Russian, Russian speaking yeah, Russian speakers, yeah. they, what's that, they made a revolt against the Ukrainian government. And they, they created their own military. So who supported it? Who supported that? Russia. <laughs> the Russia supported the yeah, Korean Republic. Korean Republic was illegal at the first time. It's, it's just illegal. It's revolt. Yeah. And most of all, and Korean Republic is not just for independence of Korean, Korean and Russian speakers in Ukraine. They want to kind of uh, yeah, come back to uh, Russia and with the territory of Ukraine. It's, a, it's just, a, I said, it's kind of, you know the Manchuria? Manchuria. Yeah, Manchuria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The perfect government in you know, Japan, the empire of Japan in Japan, it was, perfect, yeah, it was just a colony. And at the time, Japan's empire and and um, founded in the Manchuria. So, and then uh, they took it from China. Same procedure uh, Russia and Korean Republic did. So, Russian people founded Korean Republic. Before. Yeah, not Russian. Russian speakers in Ukraine Republic. So they founded. They founded Korean Republic. Yeah. Uh, with the against government. Ukraine government. <laughs> yeah. And they got they got war so with each other. That's the name. That's the the national name. Yeah. That area, that territory. That their nation's name, the Korean Republic. What is it? Is it internationally approved? No. No. Yeah. Only in their, by their reading and their choice. Yeah. They call themselves as the people. And yeah, most of all, it was supported by Russia with, I think yeah, right. with uh, Russian military advisors. Yeah, so called Komungwan. Komundan. Russian, not, not Komungwan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Advisors. advisors and with Russian military advisors and weapons, uh, tanks, missiles. Yeah. So my question is that uh, Ukraine and Russia is a traditional relation. Is uh, like uh, very close. They're yeah, very close. Of conflict, like Korea and Japan and Israel. Oh, Korean Republic has has been founded recently. I it's mean, not I long. Mean, I mean the relationship between Ukraine and Russia. Uh, Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine and Russia. Uh, traditional relationship. I've heard that and, and it wasn't good. Yeah. Because I actually heard uh, 
um, any number of uh, great heroes, and we'll get to Kipfer. Traditionally, Ukraine and Russia exchanged the medicine in Turkey. They mutually integrated each other. Yeah. Yes. They wrote uh, also uh, between two nations. Uh, they had uh, many types of conflicts. English, England versus Ireland, or England versus Scotland. Yeah. And, and apparently, uh, in the point of view of the third person, uh, they are just uh, right. There are uh, not many differences uh, among them. But actually, uh, within them, they have uh, many kind of conflict to each other. They very close to each other. I don't think in a yeah, those relation, Russia and uh, Ukraine relationship uh, is like in a yeah, Scotland and England. Yeah, I think that that's totally different because you know, Russia is a big country and and they actually want more territory from small countries. So, do you remember the name of those two countries? Chechen and Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. Yeah. Georgia and Chechen were invaded by Russia. We made it, yeah. yeah. We made it by Russia. So Ukraine's situation has been totally the same with those two countries. And Russia and, and supported uh, Russian speakers in, in Ukraine and they built in a perfect government, Korean Republic. Yeah. And then Korean Republic, Ukraine, and Ukraine Republic, those two countries that got into, got into the war. Yeah. Like the war between. For many months. Yeah. Northern Ireland. In Northern Ireland, usually a small percentage of English heritage people. Hmm. Yeah, they always have a problem. In the eye of the Catholic. Yeah. yeah, Irish, yeah. Like IRA, so-called IRA, yeah. And uh, the Korean Republic, and after the war, the Ukraine um, gave up everything about its rights of the yeah, Korean Republic. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Ukraine, so-called, kind of, they surrendered. Yeah, no more war. And then Korean Republic. Actually, it got approved. Yeah, their own government yeah, yeah, authorities from Ukraine. Yeah. 
that's kind of it's not approval, but uh, as the result of the, the war between two countries, the Korean Republic kind of took an independence uh, from Ukraine, but everything was you know, tricked by uh, Russia. And then after that, and we are uh, with the force of uh, Russia. And Korean Republic started their own election. Yeah. And lots of people voted to, to be a Russian territory. And then they, the Korean Republic submit that they are whole territory to Russia. And then it was over. Just the Ukraine lost their territory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's an invasion. <laughs> yeah. But the most important part of uh, today's lesson, uh, today's lecture, is Western countries and U.S. Yeah, yeah didn't want to involve me in, in these things. Yeah. yeah. Because the United States did not want to directly uh, fight against Russia. Because Russia is a very powerful and uh, that's very difficult for the United States to transport Russia uh, or their military resources to that area. Yeah. Very difficult to, because uh, I believe that it was uh, needed of the assistance from Arabian nation or Iran, such a Middle Eastern countries. The United States, I think, uh, is not yet failed to get assistance from those Middle Eastern countries. But the United States, I, I don't think the United States uh, even in very good environment. Russia is also uh, military very powerful. Yeah. 